So we know that this is working. Uh, testing this at each stage is probably a really important step uh, if you're just learning because you can see the outcome of each command that you're uh, processing. So, um, in fact, let's get rid of this for now. Okay, so now what we've done is we've um, read in the image. Um, we've, or we haven't read in the image itself, but what we've done is got the image size from the image a file name that we've specified. So we've got the width and the height of this image. Um, now what we need to do is we need to specify a new size for the image because obviously the point of this tutorial is we're scaling this image down to thumbnail size. Now we have a few issues. We can't scale it down by a percentage because the um, file that we read in could be say 2000 by 2000 pixels or it could just on its own be let's say um, 100 by 100 pixels or it could be 50 by 50 pixels etc so our file size that we read in could be any size so what we want to do is create the thumbnail to an exacting size or, or, or a more or less exacting size we don't want to scale it down a percentage because if we were scaling down a percentage of an image that was 500 by 500 um, let's say by um, by a very small percentage you'd end up with a very small image however if you were scaling down a, five, a 2000 by 2000 by a very small percentage you're going to end up with a bigger image than the first example I've already talked about so hopefully this makes sense to you um, and we need to understand this before we start writing out our new size of our image because we can't just say divide it by a certain amount okay so um, we're going to create a new variable called new underscore size and what we're going to do in here is a few calculations that I've played around with myself um, to get this working so uh, because I'm not amazing at maths I can't explain to you why this works or why it doesn't or no why what works because it does work um, but uh, you know follow along with this try and understand it for anyone that's more logical minded than me in, in terms of mathematics you'll probably understand this a lot better so we've got new size and I have chosen um, whilst playing around with this for a good hour I think <laughs> well half an hour so um, I'm basically gonna say image width and then I added this to image height so let's just space this out so we can see what we're doing so we've added the image width which we've got here to the image height then what we've done is we've divided that all by the image width multiplied by the image height divided by 45 so let's create some brackets so uh, we are processing this properly so I did image width and then I multiplied it and then another bracket in here so we're multiplying this by the image height times uh, uh, yeah times by 45 so we've got image width add image height divided by the image width times the image height times 45 so this operation will complete and then multiply by the image width and these two operations in brackets will sub um, complete individually and then divide by each other so just out of curiosity let's go ahead and echo out this new size okay so we've got the individual values here now let's refresh that okay so we've got a massively long um, decimal number um, so um, there's a f still a few things we need to do to create the uh, the new um, height of the image and the new width of the image so let's go ahead and do that now let's go over to context let's get rid of that so that's just interesting to see what that's produced but it does work so now we've got new width and new height. I'm going to create two new variables and I'm going to multiply the current width by this new size. So, in actual fact, I was meant uh, to put a divide there. So later on this is going to make sense why um, when we create our new width and our new height. So let's just echo this out to see what we got. Okay, so now we've got a um, a small um, a value below zero. So we've got 0.1713, blah, blah, blah. So this is a small value. What we're going to now do is we're going to multiply the original image height by um, and, the, and the height and the width by this new size, which will then create a small integer value, um, or might, you know, might not, but 
we're going to create a small value at least to resize our image to. So let's create our two variables first. We want new width and we're going to do the same with new height. And this is basically going to be the image width, so the original image width times by um, the new um, image size. And this is just in general, we don't have a width and height for the new size. This is how we maintain our aspect ratio. We're creating the width and the height um, with the original height and the width. So original width and then the original height times by this new size. So what we're not what we're doing is we're using this variable here to just scale down the width and the height. But by um, so what we're doing is we're multiplying it by um, a, a negative number. Oh no, sorry, uh, 0 0.171 I think it was. But therefore we're keeping the aspect ratio of the width and the height. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Let's just echo this out and echo this out. Uh, let's append a break just on the end of here so we can see what's going on. And we'll come back in and refresh. So you can see now our image has been scaled down. So we're going to forget about the decimal points here. These aren't important. Uh, these will be removed later on when the image is created. So we've now got an image 125 by 70. So 125 by 70 is obviously a maintained aspect ratio value for the original width and the height. So our new image is going to be 125 by 70, which sounds about right for a thumbnail image. So now what we can test doing, if you'd like, is test, well, I'm not going to do it in the tutorial, but test loading in up with this code a really large image and see if you get around the same size back. Because with this uh, new size variable here, with the calculations that happen here, you will um, always end up with more or less the same size. So let's uh, get rid of these echo here. And let's get rid of this break. That's important we get rid of that.